In previous video, we introduced method of join and method of section for trust analysis. In this video, we will look into the detail to analyze a trust using method of join. Let's say we have a simply supported 4-panel Warren Trust Bridge. The trust is loaded with 100 kN concentrated lot at the bottom called joints. The truss height and panel length are both 3 meters. Our mission now is to determine the force developed in all members. Let's check the determinacy of this truss. There are 8 joints in this truss, which tells us that we have a total of 16 equilibrium equations at our disposal. The truss consists of 13 members and 3 support reactions provided by Pin and Roller. In this case, we have 16 unknown forces to solve. The number of unknown forces equals to the number of equilibrium equations available. Therefore, we confirm the truss is statically determinate. Before we start, let's label the joints properly to avoid confusion. Now, let's solve for support reactions. In this stage, we only need to consider the equilibrium of structure. So, we ignore the truss members for now. Cover them up if you must to stop them from distracting us. The horizontal reaction at joint A is zero since we do not have any horizontal load. Now we left two unknown vertical reactions at joint A and E. Let's solve for EY by taking moment about joint A. The structure isn't rotating about joint A after loaded, which means the moment created by loadings are cancelled out by stabilizing moment created by reaction EY. Through calculation, we know EY equals to 150 kN. We know vertical forces are in equilibrium as well. Therefore, AY should be 150 kN, so the supports can resist the loading. After determining support reactions, it is time for us to calculate the member forces. Before we proceed, Let's determine the inclination of diagonal members. After some calculation, we know the diagonal members are slanting at 45 degrees. First, we zoom into joint A. A quick recap, we need to choose the joint that does not have more than two unknown forces. By using reaction AY, we know member AF is experiencing 212.1 kN of compression. Then, we use this value to solve for member AB, which is experiencing 150 kN of tension. Let's move on to joint B. The unknown forces are more straightforward to determine. Both member BC and BF are in tension, with a magnitude of 150 kN and 100 kN respectively. Moving on to joint F. 70.7 kN of tension is developed in member CF to ensure forces along Y axis are in equilibrium. After that, let's solve for X components. From calculation, we know member FG has to be in 200 kN of compression. Then, we proceed with joint G. Member GH is in 200 kN of compression while member CG is a zero-force member. For symmetrical truss, we can simply mirror the left half of the truss and obtain the forces in remaining members. The axis of reflection in this case is member CG. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.